what is going on you guys and welcome back to the channel guys today is opening day of deer season it has finally arrived super excited now i didn't go and record anything this morning but i did go and sit in a tree stand for a little while and man do i got an interesting story to tell you guys so so to start out the morning i'm walking out to the stand I had a uh, deer blowing to my right in a cut over i keep on going and then i stumble across another deer that i bumped all the way back to my tree stand and uh, I finally get to my stand. I'm thinking, oh, this is cool. They're on their feet. You know, it's going to be a good morning. Well, I'm sitting in there. I got a perfect wind and everything. I sit until about 12 o'clock. And um, I'm thinking to myself, I'm going to go ahead and get down. But maybe I should stay for about five more minutes just to see what happens. Well, I go ahead. I unlock my harness. I put my book bag on. put my quiver back on the bow. I just took my arrow out the bow. And I'm twisting it on my, uh, my pull rope. As soon as I get it and I'm getting ready to lower it, I look up, there's a doe coming right to me. And I'm like, are you freaking serious? She was already within 20 yards and she passed right under my stand at 14 yards and there was nothing I could do. You know, I'm sitting there trying to untwist my bow, get my arrow knocked back. And in the time I did, she was quartering away from me so far, it was pretty much impossible to take a shot. So I took out the grunt call, I did a little bleat. She stopped, turned, looked at me. And um, I did it again. Well, meh. she looked again. I'm thinking she's going to circle around and come on back through. No, she just pretty much said, hey, how's it going? And kept on moving. And I was just like, I cannot believe that happened. If I literally would have waited two more minutes, I would have killed that deer on the opening day. So this evening, guys, we're going back to the stand. Hopefully, we can make something happen. Guys, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing to the channel. Don't forget to hit that like button. Without any further ado, Let's head on out to the tree stand. Let's try to put one on the ground. All right, guys. It's October 5th. Opening day of bow season. We're in here for the afternoon hunt. I just got in here. Got a perfect wind, southeast wind, going right over my shoulder. And I am expecting these deer to move all out in front of me. There's actually a deer trail right here behind me where they're coming from. My left to the right. That's where that day was this morning. I mean, she walked right freaking under the stand, so hopefully something like that will happen again tonight. I got a little bit of that liquid ever calm out from Conquest Sense. I got that about 15 yards out in front of me. And I'll tell you what, that in the conjunction with a little bit of this nose jammer does pretty good. Now I do have the wax stick and I also had the aerosol can. I sprayed a little bit on the leaves and stuff around the base of my tree. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of this stuff right here on this little tree right here. Should kind of cover the scent just in case the wind swirls or anything. We're pretty scent free though, I think. Guys, what the nose jammer with conjunction of Evercom perfect little combo keeps the deer calm, and brings them in really close. So it's about four o'clock in the afternoon, We're expecting the deer to come through any any time between now and dark. So we got about a three hour sit. Super excited. Hopefully, we can have something come through here. Get some meat in the freezer and put one on the ground. Alright, you guys stay tuned. I'm gonna bring you a hunt. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my view. So this is straight out in front of me. Now you guys remember when I came out here and made those mock scrapes and the mineral site. The mineral site is right there. We got a mock scrape about right here, about 15 yards. And I'll also put another mock scrape right behind that fallen log right there. Using the conjunction of Buck Junkie and the um, Scrape King, which I haven't put any more out in a few days. I did refresh in the mineral site. And that doe, guys, I'm going to show you this trail. Got a deer right here. There's a little dot right there.
just walked right up on me. I was trying to show you guys a deer trail. I'm sitting here doing an interview. Freaking deer walked right up behind me. She's walking right along this back side, this edge. trying to show you guys that trail that that doe came down this morning. I turn around to show you guys there's a freaking big doe standing right there walking this backside. She was a little further back. She's about 50 yards. She's just slowly walking. It's so thick back there you can barely see her. Seem like they're on their feet today. Fingers crossed we can get this done. So we definitely know that the deer are coming from back here behind me. Just like I said in the interview, my first one. You know, they're coming from my right to my left. That's exactly what that big doe just did. You know, that's what the uh, doe did this morning. So I'm pretty much on high alert, waiting for anything to come through here at any time. And I mean, to be honest, it could be from any any direction because right out here in front of me, there's a big batch of pine trees they love to bed in, you know. And then they have that cutover. There's a cutover over here. They also use that as a bedding area. Now where I'm at now is a good travel point. There's a bunch of acorns starting to fall. So they're using that as their food source. I'm pretty sure this is the same trail that bully, that big eight pointer, is coming down. Now he is my target buck because it's early season. You know, if it's brown, it's down. We just want to get some meat in the freezer and try to get one on the ground on opening day. That'd be really cool. I'll shoot just about anything today. As long as it's not a fawn, I'm not going to shoot no fawn. That's messed up. Another thing that amazes me is how they walk through the woods so majestically and so quietly, you know. Like, I didn't even hear her coming at all. If I hadn't turned around to show you guys the trail that I was talking about, I would have even never known she was there. That's how quiet she was. That's a great start for opening day, though. Let's see if we can't seal the deal. You guys stay tuned.
cruising up the hill. Try to grunt at him, he ain't paying no attention to the grunt calls. It's about 50, 55 yards. It's a lot of movement tonight. I'm gonna tell you what, if we can get a deer a little closer in range, we're gonna put a mega meat through him. seen anything else other than that doe and that spike that was walking up that hill. I've been hearing a lot of walking all around me. It's just so thick in here. You know, you don't even know they're there until they're right up on top of you. Let me go ahead and show you that trail that I've been trying to show you that they're walking down. There's a trail right here, and it goes all the way behind the tree stand. And right in between those two trees right there, that little opening, that's where that doe stopped. That's 14 yards from my tree. And then she ended up going back up in there. But as y'all can see, you can see how thick it is back there. And good lord, look at that G5 Mega Meat. Well, that thing looks sexy. She could have smelled me because my wind is going over my shoulder. If she would have just turned a little more, I would have been able to freaking smoke her right there. I thought about just shooting her in the chest. Oh my god. and they're trying to get the camera angle right for you guys. I can't believe that just happened. I cannot believe that just happened.
I really thought about just shooting her in the chest. Them G5 Mega Meats would have probably brought her down. I just wanted to make an ethical kill shot though. I didn't want to risk it, you know? Oh my god. She was so close. I mean, she was right there. deer I've been seen a day. Two of them I could have shot. One caught me completely off guard this morning. You know, that was my fault because I was ready to get down. I should have waited. If I would have waited two more minutes, I would have shot that deer. And then this one right here, I mean, she was, what is that? Thirteen yards. I thought that was the one for sure. If she would have just turned broadside, man. That's crazy. Damn, man. That's really wild how the nose jammer, in combination with the Evercom, keeps them very calm. I think she's seen me moving, because I went to draw back, but because I originally thought that she was going to go broadside, she didn't. She turned and faced me, so I kind of let down a little bit, and then right when she was stepping out, I drew back again. I was at full draw. And I think I moved a little too much. It's 520. We got about an hour and a half. You guys stay tuned. Hopefully we can pull this off. Alright guys, I just reviewed that footage. I don't even know if I got her in the frame. I'm going to show you this. So right there, you can see the little white and green thing hanging out the tree. That's the Evercom. She was literally standing right underneath there. Dude, I'm still freaking shaking. I am beating myself up to death for not taking that shot. I mean, I know it wouldn't have been very ethical. She wasn't broadside. But like I said, I'm pretty sure at that close range, if I was to take the shot, I'm probably sure I would have dropped her. Let me know down in the comments that I do the right thing by not shooting. It just sucks when they come in so close and I mean they come in perfect that was perfect you know and then they don't give you a broadside shot and they end up picking you off 
the one good thing is she didn't blow that is good I tell you what it's been a hell of a opening day We've seen four deer two of them came within 15 yards of the stand Got about an hour left. I feel like there's stuff moving all around me. We got about an hour left, so if something's gonna happen, it's gonna happen pretty soon. Really hope you guys are enjoying the videos. If you're enjoying this one, go ahead and hit that like button for me. Consider subscribing to the channel. I plan on bringing you a bunch of hunting content this year. really hope I got that doe on camera. At the very least, I hope I got her walking through when she was right here by the tree stand when she was checking out the Evercom. That was actually pretty cool to see. You know, and that's just a testament to the product, man. Not only does it keep them calm, but it's also a deer attractant. Yeah, guys, like, share, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. Follow me on Instagram. I'm trying for y'all, man. Self-filming and hunting, trying to make a kill shot. Especially doing it on camera. Some difficult stuff, I can tell you. I definitely take my hat off and give them guys props that do it professionally. Especially the ones that do the self filming. Alright, well, like I said, we got about an hour left. We're going to sit here, cross our fingers that something will come in and give us another opportunity. Guys, I just heard something walking under my stand. It's a freaking box turtle. Look at this. He's right there. It's a freaking box turtle. I have never in my life seen one walking around in the woods like that. Look how yellow his head is. That is so freaking cool. I tell you what, that's the first time I've ever seen some shit like that while I was hunting. I'm just over here hanging out with a box turtle now. That's freaking crazy. I thought it was a bird or something. I look down, it's a freaking turtle crawling underneath my tree. We've got about 30 minutes left. We're right here at prime time. This is about the time we're Dodger, nice little six pointer I've been watching for a couple years. This is a good time that he comes through. Also that big eight pointer bully that likes to push Dodger around. And just hang tight and hope we can get one more opportunity and make it count this time. Their time's a charm. You gotta stay tuned. Alright you guys, well unfortunately we weren't able to pull it off. We didn't get no deer, but I tell you what, that was a pretty cool opening day. It's only the first day. We got a long season ahead of us. I tell you what though, seeing what I've seen tonight, it just makes you have a level of respect for these animals. 
it was really cool to be out there and seeing them do their thing, how majestic they are and how smart they are. Really cool stuff. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please go ahead and hit that like button. Drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about the video. How's your hunting season going for you already? Um, I got plenty of more coming for you. Subscribe to the channel if you want some more. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for hanging out with me and going hunting. Hopefully we can get it done next time. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay safe, happy hunting, and shoot straight. Peace.